really a pleasure to be here. Seth, when you came to my house and to the studio and you started choosing all the work, I had no idea that you could put it together so beautifully like this. I walked through that door yesterday into the exhibition to see it for the first time and it was very moving because I felt Ken. I felt Ken's presence here. So the booth has done an absolutely superb job and it's an honor to be in the Western, the biggest Western art museum in America, right? Well, it's the uh, biggest Largest permanent collection, collection yeah. uh, space for Western art. Mm -hmm. There are certainly museums that have more works. There are museums that have maybe more important works. But in terms of the amount of space given for permanent exhibition of Western art, it doesn't get any bigger than Booth Museum in Cartersville, Georgia. And that kind of blows people's minds from out west where you live. But uh, it's, yeah. it's a true fact. So. But you have a wonderful saying, don't you? You don't have to go west to, or to, that's, that's don't true. have to go west to be there. That's true. Our uh, our tagline we've been using for years is. Uh, explore the West without leaving the South. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and so whether that's for Southern residents or uh, actually we have a lot of international visitors who come to the South, and particularly to Atlanta because it is such an international city having hosted the Olympics and so on. We're only 40 minutes away. They want a Western experience. Mm -hmm. That's what they think of when they think of America. And so you can't do that too many places in the South. So we're, we're proud to be one of those, and we do get quite a few international visitors through the door. And uh, I know they'll enjoy this exhibition because it introduces them to so many of the types of people of the West. Mm -hmm. And that's really what people think about the cowboys, the mountain men, the Indians, the, the rodeo stars. I mean, they're the types of people that give us our ideas about the West. But uh, yeah, I was excited to be here yesterday when you uh, saw it for the first time. And we were all emotional, I think. Oh, I, yes. It, it was a special moment. <laughs> this is the world premiere of this beautiful exhibition. And it's the... It's for me, it's obviously very emotional, but if Ken were here in, spirit, uh, in real life, his feet would not be on the ground, I can tell you. <laughs> well, it's one of the things that um, we at the Booth Western Art Museum, in addition to having the largest permanent exhibition space for Western art, we're also the leading collector of living Western artists, mm -hmm. and we always have celebrated living artists and believe that we shouldn't wait until artists have passed on until we decide if they're any good or not. It should be celebrated and collected, and we try to get them here to do exhibitions and programs and lectures and so our members can meet them and talk to them and so on. In this particular case, unfortunately, we didn't get it done in time, um, but we're, we're writing that now and uh, fortunately we have you here to speak for Ken and talk about his work and, and can celebrate him uh, even though he's not here to be part of it. Uh, the, you know, the reason that we kind of got together was that you knew about us because we mm -hmm. had two pieces of Ken's work already. He rides shotgun and um, shoot out at Tombstone. Both which it which was wonderful to meet them yesterday. <laughs> I had never seen the paintings before. So I, I felt like it was a, you know, truly just a meeting. <laughs> I, l I love hearing you describe it that way. Nice to meet you. And you said that yesterday when mm. you saw the pieces. But uh, those have been in the permanent collection of the museum since the beginning and uh, have been on display in our permanent collection mm. galleries. And uh, so people who uh, perhaps may have passed by those pieces before because Ken's name wasn't a household name to them, but know the images now get to see really his full body of work right. with an exhibition. And that's what we try to do with a lot of our exhibition program is to take artists that we may only have one or two or three pieces in the collection, and you really don't get a full sense for the artist that way. Mm -hmm. to then have, you know, as we hear of here, over 50 pieces by one artist. Now you really can get a sense for them. And particularly with having the studio, you really get that sense. I thought this was brilliant. It was just a brilliant idea to really add that last piece of the puzzle for people um, to, to, to really appreciate what the artist is when he's at work. And I think that uh, puts Ken in a unique position of kind of being the stand-in for kind of all Western artists. Mm -hmm. And um, as I said, the studio is, is really no different than many, many, many I've been in around the country. And they're pretty much all the same. They have their, they have their easel, they have their drawing station. But that it's just full of, you know, examples of their work or derivatives of their work, and uh, there's multiple things going on, and then there's all these artifacts everywhere, and uh, it's just an exciting space. And uh, I think uh, people will be interested to see how those individual items spark creativity. Oh, I'm sure they will. I'm sure if you get some children in here, they're going to have fun trying to find the things in the paintings that are inside this studio, because there's quite a few. We'll be doing that with some school groups uh, here shortly. Well, I know Ken was a member of the Western Artists of America group, and it's a group that we've followed. We've collected several of their members' work. Um, Buck McCain has a couple of pieces right outside the door, who's uh, one of the members who's shown with that group over the years, and several others that we have examples from their work. And uh, I'm excited to hear that they've decided to name an award in honor of Ken, and 
I understand we're going to be hearing more about that during your lecture on Saturday night. Yes, yes. There will be a presentation um, which I will accept for Ken. It will be a Lifetime Achievement Award for his body of work. And the other exciting thing about this award is that from now on it will be called the Kenneth M. Freeman Legacy Lifetime Achievement Award which Western Artists of America will endow upon somebody who has got a gonna, significant body of work. Is that going to be one of their members always, or are they going to go outside of their membership in honoring that? Have they discussed that yet? You know? No, they haven't discussed that. I, I'm not sure. How that's going to mm -hmm. work. But, uh, well, that's great that Ken's going to be honored in that way, and his legacy will, will pay forward in uh, honoring other people on an annual basis. That's right. Bonnie, we are so glad that you uh, came and could be here and be part of opening this exhibition. Uh, we're looking forward to having you here this week and doing some training with our staff and volunteers mm -hmm. and uh, meeting our members who are going to come to the opening Saturday night uh, and having the book signing and all the other things that will go on throughout the week uh, with the press interviews and everything. It's really our pleasure to have you here and uh, we're so excited to have the exhibition and uh, we hope it's going to be a special week for everybody. And, uh, Thank you. Everybody out there in TV land or computer land or wherever they <laughs> might be seeing this uh, will come out uh, during the run of the exhibition. We're leaving it here a good long time, as I said, through uh, March tw uh, May 22nd, so that uh, everybody will have plenty of time to get out and see the exhibition and maybe come back two or three times. There's lots to see. Thank you very much. Thank you.